If you're trying to write some sales copy, these eight magical phrases will help you sound like a seasoned pro. Whether you're writing sales copy in an email or you're just talking in conversation, these eight magical phrases will shortcut your way to sounding so much better and giving you the ideas you need to overcome that writer's block. The first is an if-then statement. For example, if you're struggling with waking up in the morning and feeling groggy and just temperamental and frustrated and not ready to start the day, whoa, you're hooked. You're ready to hear what I have to say next because we provide a mattress that helps, you know, lifetime warranty, 90-day trial period, blah, 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 all that stuff. I just hooked you with an if-then statement. If you're struggling with this, then this. Or if you want this, you have to do this. It's a great, great way to hook somebody's attention right off the bat in an email or starting off a conversation or a keynote speech that way. The second magical phrase, it goes something like this. If you don't do anything, you might lose X. If you don't buy now, you're going to lose the 25% off discount that we have for you. If you don't go with us. If you don't buy this product, if you don't download this PDF, if you don't do this, you're going to miss out. Your life is going to continue on as it was. You're not going to change. You're going to get worse. Your pain is going to increase, whatever. It's a great frame, like structure for getting people's attention and getting them to act. The third magical phrase is what most people do is X or many people have decided about this, you know, do you know those ugly cords a lot of people have under their TV that just really don't look good, you know? See, that's a problem. I've introduced a problem using the word many. Many people are inclined to X or many people struggle with X. Many people live with back pain every day. Oh, it's relatable. What, what this phrase does is brings an area of like understanding and common knowledge. It's like, yeah, many people struggle to go through their day without feeling energized. They always need a cup of coffee, whatever. There we go. I've talked about something that is common knowledge that you can relate to. It's like, okay, I understand. Why'd you bring this up? Now it's going into the next part of the question was, we actually do this. It'll, it opens the door for you to be able to sell your product. The fourth magical phrase is my favorite. One word, imagine. Imagine living like no one else. Imagine having a lawn that makes your neighbors jealous. Imagine being able to overcome the pain of feeling frustrated. Those types of phrases that just paint a picture of what life could look like are so powerful. Use the word imagine in your phrases and you'll be like a seasoned pro, I guarantee it. I use it all the time. And even in conversations, people are so captivated by what I say. Imagine this. It's almost like a command to listen. I'm commanding you to listen and people do. The fifth magical phrase is one of my favorites. If the only thing you do is this, X, right? If the only thing you remember is this, boom. You know, at the end of a presentation or a speech, if you forget everything else, remember this. It can be a really great way to offer a discount or the call to action for your business. You know, if you forget everything else, remember that you can buy now at our website. You can solve your pain problem by booking an appointment today. You can get our 25% off discount, whatever it is. If the only thing you got is this, then you're okay, whatever it is. That phrase is also such a powerful phrase you can use as well. Now, the sixth magical phrase is don't let this happen to you. Don't let this happen. Don't let the frustration of traffic overwhelm you. Don't continue to live in pain. Don't continue to be frustrated. Don't let this happen to you. Don't wish you could be happy. Don't wish you could live a life better than what you're living now. Those kinds of phrases are also so powerful because like you are living this way. Stop living this way. Stop. So you can solve your problem. Don't keep living as if your problem isn't solved. You can solve it with our product and we give you a 25% off discount. It's so powerful. The, this this one is such a, I feel like it's kind of like a, a secret weapon. It's just that extra little bit, that extra little step you can take after the sales pitch or after the email. It's just like, don't waste money on, in, in the case of my business, Simple Advising, don't waste money on marketing that doesn't work. 
The seventh magical phrase is so awesome. It's a what if statement. What if this happened? What if you could live a life that you've always been dreaming of? What if you could avoid wasting time in traffic? What if you could get rid of those ugly cords under your TV so that it looks super clean and polished like, and you can't see any more cords? See what I'm doing there? The what if is such a powerful statement that you can use in a sales email, sales copy, in a conversation. What if your life was different than what it is now? What if you didn't have to live in back pain anymore? Wouldn't that be awesome, right? It's this type of curiosity. It's this type of painting the picture. I love using that phrase. Paint the picture of what life will look like when they use your product or service. So key. The eighth magical phrase is if you're standing at a crossroads, here's what you need to do. If you're standing at a crossroads. Now, it may sound a little cheesy. I kind of think it's a little cheesy, but it's so effective. Now, if... After all of our conversation, after this elevator pitch, if you're thinking, man, I would like to get myself a website, then what you need to do is register at (laughs) simpleadvising.com. See what I did there? If you're standing at a crossroads, if you're not sure what to do, just go ahead and register. (laughs) You get the point though, right? If you're standing at a crossroads, such a powerful phrase to use in your marketing. All right, so we talked about eight magical phrases that you can use in your sales copy, sales emails, on your website, in conversations, during sales calls that are so effective, they're proven. You can use these phrases everywhere to level up your salesmanship. Now, I brought all this content from a blog post that I absolutely love. It's all linked down below. A really seasoned sales copy writer talks you through these eight magical phrases that I talk about in this video. So make sure to go check out that podcast episode if you're interested in going even deeper and helping you craft better sales copy, sales conversations, and know what to say so you're more polished professional as a salesperson.